so you can see this overlay works better for this image so these are before these are after what's up guys welcome back to another video my name is Tunde Victor and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to add overlay to the background of your image so after doing your basic retouching your um, skin cleanup your figure separation your dodger bone and your color grading the next thing you have to do is create a stamp visible layer by clicking on ctrl shift alternate e and everything just did below is going to open in a new layer for you and these are subject layer right now so after that we're going to make a selection of the subject so you just come to your um, quick selection tool right here and um you can either use your um quick selection tool or object selection tool so just use any one the after here you can just click on select subject up here and photoshop will automatically select your subject for you you can click on your object selection tool and just click and drag around your subject like this and photoshop is going to select your subject for you this image is easier to select some images are difficult so you have to uh, manually select them like if i zoom right now you can see these parts are not selected so to add this part all you have to do is pick on your um polygonal lasso tool or your pen tool whichever you know how to use but i'm going to be using polygonal lasso tool for this image so just click on shift to add so once you click on shift you're going to see that plus icon click on shift and just click and click your hands of shift and add where you want to add to your image like that and come back to where you started from and you can see i've added that part to this image after making your selection if you are okay with your selection just click on this layer mask right here to add a layer mask so once i click on add layer mask it's going to cut my subject out of the background so if i turn off all my background layer you can see it's many just my subject right now so i'm just going to turn that back on so next thing i'm going to do right now i'm going to double double click on this my layer mask right here so i'll double click on it and it's going to open this window for me right here so i'm just going to um with this two right here i'm just going to brush around the hair like this or i can click on refine hair and photoshop will automatically refine the hair for me to add those parts of the hair that are not selected so if you have an image that has hair around it just click on refine hair and photoshop will automatically refine the hair for you so after that i'm just going to click on okay so i feel my selection is okay like that so i'm just going to bring in the overlay which i want to add to this image so to do that just come to your fair and you come to your um place embedded right here and select which um folder the overlay is that you want to place on this image so i'm just going to come to my local disk um come to my download no not here come to my new folder come to my download and come to my overlay so i'm just going to use this overlay first to see uh, let's see you can use any overlay you want but um just look for overlay that matches with the image you want to change you remember we're not changing the background we're just adding overlay to this image so choose an overlay that matches the image which you want to change so let's go for this one first let's see so i just come here and click in and click on place so as i click on place i'll just drag it and um click on this place right here and to rotate it so i click on uh, rotate clockwise and just drag it above the image like this and click on done so after that you can see this overlay is placed above my subject so i'm not seeing my subject so i'm just going to come to my layer tab and click and drag it all the way down below my subject layer like this so after that i'm just going to change the blend modes to soft light like this and um I can decide to blur it i can decide to um reduce the opacity if i want so i think i'm just going to reduce the opacity a little bit let's see okay okay i'm, just, I'm going to bring it up i think i'm just going to leave it in 100 then i'll come to my once my value is selected i'll come to my filter i'll come to my blur i'll come to my cushion blur so i'm just going to blur it with a radius of about 11 and so i feel 11 is okay i click on okay so these parts that are not selected right now so if you look if you look at this here right here you can see they're not selected all you have to do is come to your uh, mask your layer mask pick your normal brush tool make sure your flow is 100 your opacity is 100 and you are using a soft round brush and make sure your foreground color is set to black if you set to white and you try to paint you can see it's not working so just change it to black and just paint like that so you can see right now it's working it's bringing those um it's adding overlay to that part of the image 
so if you want to take it away from a particular place all you have to do is switch to white brush and if i paint you can see i'm removing it from that place like that so if i switch it to my black brush again and i paint you can see i'm adding it to that place like that so you can manually um make a selection to the place which you want to add so like here right now just use my black brush to paint on this place to add this part of it to the image like that so if i want to add um for example i made a mistake and i just add it to the skin all i have to do is pick my white brush and paint it out of the skin like that so i feel this overlay works for this image but i really don't like it i'm just going to use the overlay which i used originally so i'm just, so I'm just going to hide this one i'll come back to my file i'll come back to my place embedded and i'll pick the uh overlay which i used for this image the one uploaded online so this is the overlay i use so i'm just going to click on place and uh, i'm just going to um, leave it like this and just um make it a little bit bigger so i'll hold button it and click on this side to stretch it from the middle to make it look a little bit bigger like this so make sure your valley fits to your image so i still feel it still um needs to look a little bit bigger so i'm just going to come back again and just stretch it even more okay now i think i like it like this I click on done so after that i'll just bring it drag it all the way down and um change the blend modes to soft lights like that then i come to my filter i come to my blur come to my question blur and i'll just blend with this over 11 if 11 is okay okay so you can see this overlay works better for this image so these are before and these are after you can decide to reduce the opacity if you want to and i'm just going to paint this part in a little bit with my um black brush i'm just going to paint this part in like this okay remember you can always reduce the opacity if you want to like that but i feel it's okay like this so next thing i'm going to do right now i want to add contrast to the overlay to make it a little bit darker so i come to my um adjustment layer i come to my levels and just push this side in and push this part in as well like this a little bit and push this part in to add a little bit of darkness to the image or you can come to your adjustment layer just come to your brightness adjustment layer and just reduce the brightness like that so next thing i'm going to do i'm going to add um noise to this image to the um overlay because i feel there should be noise on the overlay to make it look more realistic and to do that i'm just going to create a new layer so once i create a new layer i come to my edit I come to my edit i come to my fill and i'll fill with 50 percent gray so i'm just going to click on it so you can see right now the image is um looking gray and after that i'll come to my filter i come to my noise and i'll click on add noise so i'm just going to um leave it like this so you can use it um amount it and make sure your gaussian is selected and just click on okay so once i click on okay next thing i'm going to do right now i come to my blend mode and i'll just change it to soft light so i've successfully added noise to this background so let's see the before and the after you can see just a little bit of noise to make it look more realistic so guys let's see where we started from where we are right now this is where we started from and this is where we are this is where we started from and this is where we are i hope you like this video if you do make sure to give this video a like so i'm more focused in this video and learn from this video and also if you want to learn how to retouch your image using um micro dodge and bone and i'm um, also using focus separation make sure to click on this video showing your screen right now i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative